Beautiful day here in New York. Little little jacket is all you need. Could be great. All right, tomorrow on the show, Chris Kattan from Saturday Night Live will be here. The new witch on Charmed, Rose McGowan. Yeah. And the, love chef. and the love chef, well, this is apple picking weather, so he's got some apple recipes for us Oh, tomorrow. terrific. That's a great idea. Okay, our first guest, living it up, boy. I'm telling you, what a life he's got touring around the world as a member of one of the hottest music groups in the in the country. Of course, in sync, and now seen making his big screen acting debut in a new film, which he produced called On the Line. Here's Lance Platt. <laughs> Good to see you, huh? Good seeing you. Absolutely. Do you ever get tired of the screams and the applause? Never, and the... never, no. Maybe I, loves it. I love the fans. But when you go home and nobody screams when you walk, you know, nobody screams and yells. I hire is people it... to. You do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. He's got a whole chorus sitting in the Hickam's Lance. <laughs> so what was it like performing with Michael Jackson? Um, amazing. I mean, he's the king of pop. Uh, yeah. Someone I grew up listening to. Sure. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's an honor. Definitely. Did you spend any time with him? Backstage, off stage. We, I mean, we we've, we've seen him quite a bit the last uh, last year, and he he really is a great guy, really humble and uh, and very into what we're doing. Uh huh. Good. Have you been to Never Neverland? I haven't. I haven't. I, haven't? I've always wanted to go though, because I hear it's so. Much I want to go too. I, I want to break in. <laughs> That's where he lives, you know. Never Neverland. Yeah, yeah, I know. Out in California, sure. So now um, you're very busy. You found a movie script that you liked, and you went out and you got it produced, and then you needed a leading man to play the... To, and so, who'd you pick? I picked myself. <laughs> I, no. Why not? No, I started a production company back in last October, and um, we, we were trying to find the perfect movie for us to do. We're, what we do is we make good quality movies that utilizes athletes and musicians in film. And found the script, loved it, was going to produce it, uh, didn't have time to do it at all. And uh, then realized I did have like a month and a half, and this character was so perfect, I wanted to tackle this character. Now, how did the other guys feel about you branching out into films? Isn't that going to be a problem? Well, you know? he uh, cast another member. Yeah, Joey's in, Joey's in the film. Oh, Joey, but the other three guys are left out. Oh, no, they're not left out. Come on. No, they, what's, what's cool is we didn't want to all five be in it because it'd be cheesy. You know, it'd be like, oh, the NSYNC movie. Um, they, uh... But they wrote music for the soundtrack. Oh, so everybody uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's all great. So now, did you take any acting lessons to get ready for this major role? I took one lesson. Um, I, I really, because I was nervous. I've never done this before in my life. And but isn't it a lot like a music video in certain ways? Because when you perform, you're you're telling a story with your it's song. It's true, but it's the dialogue. See, it's I have the worst memory in the world. Yeah, music video, you're just uh, singing and walking around and prancing, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about dialogue. We're he's, talking about talking to people here. He's the producer. What's he going to do, fire himself if he doesn't know the lines? Yeah, it's a good question, Lance. What I, I, haven't, I haven't thought about that. You better that one. learn those lines. <laughs> no, but it, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So you took one acting lesson. I did. All right. So now, what was the first day on the set like? When the director yells, "Action!" It was overwhelming. Because you dream in this moment. For I mean, since I was a little kid, I've yeah. always dreamed about doing a movie. And I don't know. Um, I got really close to the cast and the crew. And um, I, I knew everybody on the set, so it was a lot more comfortable than I thought it'd be. You know, I love the premise. You probably have read about the premise. I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. They're on a train, elevator train in Chicago. Right. He sees this girl, mm -hmm. strikes up a conversation with her, really feels for this young lady, and then suddenly, one of the stops, she gets off the train. And he didn't get her number, doesn't know how to reach her again, is pining. His heart is breaking for her. That's the whole story. Yes. <laughs> But he goes on a quest to find her. Exactly. A quest. Yeah. A quest. A quest for love. Movie. You know, the first thing he does, he takes a love cruise to see her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back in a moment with Lance. We have O Town coming on the show, right? We should, have, we should have a fist fight between NSYNC and <laughs> Let's get it decided once and for all. Listen to the girls. They like the idea yeah. of a fist fight. 
know, it was during the commercial break that I was, I got up close to Lance and we were talking a little bit during the commercial mm -hmm. break. And then Gelman, he's always hovering around me, came up behind, I looked at him and I see a startling similarity. Here's the split uh, screen between Lance Bass and Gelman. Tell me, <laughs> tell me Gelman. <laughs> Gelman, you gotta get your I hair see. to stand up. <laughs> you may have a magic belly, but your hair is not standing More up. Wax. You yeah, know, right. in your next your next uh, hit single, your next music video, you should have Gelman choreograph it because what he can do with his stomach will shock and amaze wow. you. Shock and, and I don't amaze you. I want to see this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the making the movie now. Mm -hmm. What's the most nerve wracking day you had? Um, well. There was a day where it got cut out of the movie, of course, but uh, Al Green is in this movie. Al Green, he's yeah. He's amazing. Um, and there was a scene where, it was a dream sequence, he's kind of like my guardian angel throughout the whole movie. Mm -hmm. And we do this duet thing, and we cut, we were about to do another shoot um, of it, and I went to the director, and he was like, oh, don't be nervous, Harrison, hit you know, don't be nervous. I'm like, oh, that's a movie term, you know, I'm like, don't be nervous, don't be nervous Harrison, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So I'm doing the scene, I'm looking out, and it's Harrison Ford, like, staring at me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and uh, he just, he was filming a movie and wanted to come Isn't check out. is that something when Harrison Ford stares at you? It's, it's very intimidating. It's scary. I couldn't do it. I had He's had it so many days, it just gives me this. I know. There you go. It's like, very because, intimidating. Did you feel it's like Luke, young Skywalker in the yeah. Star Wars movie with Harrison Indiana, staring at you? you know, yeah, I was like, Whoa, so he just came Skywalker. and he looked at you and then he left? No, he, he came. He was, he was very supportive. Um, it's nice to talk to him. Now, he picked his leading lady out of you all these girls. What'd she have to do to get the job? When you're the producer, yeah. you, you do things. When you're the you're producer, you, you can brief your leading lady. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so what happened? No, um, we, we had it down to like three actresses. And uh, I wanted to go read with one and see which one I connected with. And it was Emmanuel Shriki. It was immediate. Um, she just had something. Immediate there. rapport, huh? Yes. So That's anyway, amazing. the guy's on the train. He meets her. She leaves. And then mm -hmm. he... He uh, has a campaign to get her back and find out who she With is. With the help least. of his uh, trying to help friends, uh, they're they're a little still in the college mentality, and they're just out there to get some play, basically. So they can't understand why you're searching for just one girl when there's right. so many girls. Stupid so they take advantage college of them. kids don't uh, know real love when they see it. I tell you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this now. Here they are getting acquainted on the train. You're a Cubs fan. Born and raised. All right, all right. Um, so tell me, tell me your best and worst Cub moment. Best, whenever they win. Of course. Worst, game five in the 84 playoffs. The ground ball that went through Durham's legs. legs. I, that is the worst moment of my Horrible. life. Horrible. I was so depressed, I didn't even go to school the next day. I cried. Okay, most guys wouldn't admit that. <laughs> Was it bad lighting, or is your hair was your hair black? No, it show? was uh, it was supposed to be brown. That was actually in Chicago, where I had a different hairstylist, so it was a little darker than when we shot in Toronto. Uh huh. Uh, well, why couldn't you just go with your hair? Well, I wanted to do something different. You didn't want to look acting. like Lance Bass. You wanted to be Harrison so, Ford. Exactly. <laughs> I understand that. Wanted a little easier for the fans to you know get past. Me. All right, so what's new with NSYNC now? Are you going on tour again? We are. We're going back on tour in April. Uh -huh. um, uh, yeah, so. We just finished the, the Pop Odyssey tour, which is incredible. And uh, we're, we're doing a few events now. We're doing uh, Washington, D.C. on the 21st for the World Trade Center. Um, that's amazing a great people. Thing. Aerosmith, Mick Jagger, Michael oh, Jackson will all be one. there. So uh, that's going to be great. All right, so you'll be back on tour then in, in, uh, in the spring. In the spring, right? Yeah. And the movie now, the movie opens uh, later this month, October 26th, October right? October 26th. We're looking yes. forward to it. It's called On the Line, all right? Lance, thank you very much. Friday on Live, Lance's co-star and also from NSYNC, Joey Fatone.